Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, uh, information, guidance, advice, and uh, um, I'm reminded of the concept, <coughs> excuse me, that God's judgment uh, is perfect. Uh, his works are perfect. His judgment is perfect. His paths uh, are of justice. Um, righteous, fair, I'm referring to verses in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 4. Um, Hashem's judgment is perfect. Now, um, the, the fact that we may not understand uh, His ways uh, doesn't alter the fact that um, they're perfect, and it doesn't uh, in any manner affect the righteousness of his judgment. Um, we must view the divine decrees uh, as perfect, the essence of faith, the essence of Amuna, um, is our belief that the Creator uh, in his infinite wisdom um, knows what is in the long term best for us. Short term, it could be hell. But ultimately, things will work out, and that's one of the one of the big points of, Amun, of Amuna that God knows best, and uh, we find this in uh, in Masechta of uh, Odazara in uh, on, on page eighteen B. This is the story of um, Rabbi Hanina ben Tradion uh, when he's walking to his execution. This is the famous. Uh, uh, Rabbi Hanina, uh, who's wrapped up in a, in a Torah scroll and set on fire as he's walking uh, toward his death, his horrible, painful martyrdom, he was, recite, he was reciting uh, Deuteronomy 32.4, the rock, Hatsur, the rock, perfect in his work, for all his paths are justice, a God of faith without iniquity, Righteous and fair is he. Now, it's difficult for humans with our limited uh, perspective to comprehend this. Um, God is fair, his judgments are, are perfect, everything, and a, 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 a tzaddik, a, a great righteous uh, person like uh, uh, Rabbi Hanania ben Tradion burnt alive in front of his students. Uh, Rabbi Akiva, his skin torn from, from his flesh by iron combs. These people died horrible, horrible martyrdoms. People have had their, their faces peeled off uh, while they were living. It's hard to look at this and say that these judgments are fair and righteous. And perfect, and it's because of our our limited perspective. Um, we don't have the big picture. Um, the Chofetz Chaim gives an example. A man travels to. Uh, um, to a distant community on some, some trip. Goes to the shul, goes to the synagogue, and the aliyahs are being handed out, people being called to the Torah, people being honored. And he sees that the people being honored, the people being called to the Torah, weren't who we would expect it to be, uh, respected rabbis, respected members of the community, Choshev uh, Yidin, like you know, valued, treasured, important people. These were ordinary, common people. They were, for lack of a better word, nobodies. Everybody, first, second, third, fifth, seventh Aliyah, Hagbar, Gdila, Psuk. It was a parade of nobodies. And this guy was puzzled. He goes to the gabbai, to the you know to the the guy who's running the the services, deciding who gets who, and he says, "I got to tell you, this is a, this seems very strange. This is a very strange synagogue. 
And the guy goes, well, what? What are, you, what are you talking? He says, every single person here that was, called, that was honored with an aliyah was basically a nobody. The rabbis, the important men, the rich people, the people who support this community, who give to charity, the learned scholars, the yeshiva guys, they get nothing, and the nobodies get the aliyah. The Gabbai shook his head. He said, had you been here last week, you would have seen that all these people that you were talking about, they got aliyahs. They were honored. And the people that you call nobodies, they got nothing. This week was their turn to be honored. So we learn from this that had we the big picture, we could see a little better why things play out the way they do. Yet we presume, we who have a lifetime, a split second on earth, we presume to know you know, what uh, God should and shouldn't be doing, who he should and shouldn't let live, who we should uh, make prosper and who we shouldn't, we know. We know better than God because, like, you know, we're us, right? We have to have faith. We have to have a that because God sees the big picture, he sees the huge expanse of time, and what happens, what happens is for a reason. Remember the principles. Everything comes from Hashem. Everything comes from God. Everything happens for a reason. And everything that happens is for the ultimate good. The ultimately, it's for the good. It may not be for the short-term good, but we only see in the short-term. And that's why uh, it sometimes appears to us that God's judgments are not perfect. Um, that's why we need a little wake-up call. And to, remind it, to be reminded, you know what? We weren't at this show last week. We don't know what happened before. We don't know what's going to happen next week. All we see is that one brief period of time. Let's, um, let's keep this in mind. Let's have a bit of perspective and keep in mind that God's, way, God's ways are perfect. God's judgments are perfect. And sometimes the best thing to do is silence, like Aaron, the brother of uh, Moses, Aaron the high priest, when his sons, the Davin and Biu, were consumed uh, on what should have been the greatest day of Aaron, uh, Aaron's life. He lost his two sons, killed by God. And what was his reaction? Silence. Sometimes the best reaction that we have is to emulate God and how sometimes he, how often he stays silent in the uh, face of events. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.